So, back in October of 2022, Steph Curry first witnessed Wambanyama's game being played in America. Players so far from what we've seen. Sissoko denied! Slash Las Vegas home. Wambanyama has put on weight, of course, since he's been in the NBA, but he's been in the league forever. Uh-oh. Soon afterwards, he was asked about his thoughts on Wambanyama by a reporter, and here's what number 30 had to say. Have you had a chance to watch uh, Victor Wambanyama play yet? Yeah, I watched the, uh, a little bit of the game the other day. Yeah, he's like the 2K creator player. Like every point guard that wants to be seven foot, Chico type vibes. But well, Wabanyama responded to Steph's comments by saying, "It's good to have such a great player who's been minting you. Nothing is proven yet, and uh, I got everything to prove in the next coming years. So I feel like he's got a great hope for me. So it feels good." Ladies and gentlemen, from everything that I could scour over the internet, that was pretty much all the interaction that Steph, the Chef Curry, and Victor, the extraterrestrial Wambanyama had. Just a couple of exchanges over media comments, but uh, we all knew that wouldn't last. Victor, being the number one prospect in NBA history, was destined for the league, while Curry, uh, although in the latter stages of his prime, isn't quite yet ready to pass on the torch just yet. And as the basketball gods would have it, the two would eventually meet on the hardwood floor. It was just a preseason game where nothing really mattered, but you wouldn't be able to tell from just watching the game. The air was thick, and heck, the building was more packed and electrifying than some mid-season Wednesday night games, and for good reasons. This was the day where the present meets the future, and it couldn't have been scripted any better than this. A tip-off at center court. Yeah, guys, that's Steph Curry, who's 6'3", tipping off against a 7'4", Wambanyama, and uh, in case you're wondering, that's a 13-inch height difference. Just for a comparison here, the height discrepancy between Curry and Wemby is like the difference between Curry and, say, uh, Someone who's four foot ten, like Danny DeVito. It's such a massive difference that I'm surprised Wombanyama even jumped. <laughs> but anyway, it was all fun and games for Steph Curry at that point, as he was playing around trying to act all serious, but uh, he would soon learn that Wombanyama was different and that the 19-year-old didn't travel all this way to simply play games. So, not too long after the game started, Steph Curry and the Warriors finally understood what they were truly up against, in what I like to call the 90 seconds of death. It all started with this play here, where Wambanyama first crossed over, then pump faked Wiggins off his feet before hitting a mid-range jumper. Yeah, I know, it's absurd to think someone who's 7 foot 4 could do something like that, but uh, that was just the beginning. On the next play down the floor, it was Klay Thompson's turn to guard him, and the result? Well, it quickly turned into an and one for the number one overall pick. Then, on the Warriors' very next possession, Wemby did something that we all thought we wouldn't see so quickly into the game. He blocks a Splash Brothers three-point attempt. You know, Klay hardly ever gets blocked, and Wambanyama not only made it look easy, but he followed it up with a dunk on the other end. Next up was something horrific. The Warriors understand that blocks happen, that it's just part of the game, but uh, not blocks like this. Andrew Wiggins was the number one overall pick in 2014, who was the Warriors' second best player in their 2022 championship run, has probably never been blocked like this since elementary school. I mean, it was a mean block. That was a nasty block. And quite honestly, this was probably Wambanyama's way of saying, this is Sparta. Then, to add more smoke to this fire, Wambanyama followed that up by running down the floor and drilling a three-point shot. Holy smokes. Four buckets, one free throw, 10 points, two monster blocks on elite warrior starters, and one rebound? 
All that literally happened within the span of 90 seconds. And uh, by someone who's not only just a rookie, but someone who hasn't even played his first official NBA game yet. And you want to know how Steph felt about all that? Well, check this out. Soon after that 90 second onslaught by the extraterrestrial, Steph hits a three and as he runs back, look at his facial expression. That says it all. It looks like he's starting to realize that, uh, we're f <laughs> Nah, he didn't think that, but he probably did think, what the f are we going to do about this guy? Anyway, needless to say, Steph was completely shocked by Wambanyama. I mean, I know he once upon a time called Wimby a cheat code, but this is probably the first time in Steph's life that he actually witnessed a cheat code maul his team to pieces in real time. From there, it wasn't too much longer until Steph personally felt Wambanyama's wrath as he drove into the paint only to get a shot attempt swatted out like a fly. Steph didn't know what hit him. It was all Wimby at this point. The extraterrestrial was making Steph and the Warriors look like barbecue chicken. But uh, we all know basketball is a game of two halves and that Steph wasn't going to let Wambanyama get away with what he just did, especially at Chase Center, the home of the Warriors. Shortly after the third quarter started, this happened. This was actually the first play where Steph and Wambanyama really matched up with one another and had a bit of action. It happened just a few minutes into the third, as CP3 dished the ball to Steph, who uh, took one dribble and shot faked. That was enough to get Wambanyama off the floor. Then, while the 7'4 Frenchman had his back turned, Steph baked him again, making him look like Bambi on skates before shooting that mid-range. It's unfortunate Steph missed that shot because that would have been a welcome to the NBA highlight reel for Wimby. What's crazy, though, is that even with all that shaking and baking from Steph, Wimby was still just one or two inches away from blocking it. Sheesh! It reminds me of that Allen Iverson crossover on Jordan, where even after hitting him with his best move, Mike recovered enough to still nearly block the shot. For their first meeting, Curry was probably more impressed with Wemby than Wemby being impressed with Curry. I mean, the Frenchman was an absolute menace the whole time he was on the floor, recording five blocks in 21 minutes, in addition to dazzling the crowd with the eye test, while on the other hand, this was one of Steph's rare off-shooting nights as he went one for six from distance. Still though, Wambanyama highly still respects Steph. In fact, not too long ago, the Spurs' new star was asked which starting five he would choose to save the planet, and here's what he had to say. Gotta go with um, Steph, Jordan, LeBron, Timmy, Shaq. What's that? Uh, haven't proven anything, man. But back to the game. Despite Wambanyama dominating, there were valuable clues that Steph and the Warriors learned about the new basketball phenom. The first is, he's beatable off the dribble. Chris Paul was able to put him on skates for a bit, but uh, as we've seen in the past, it doesn't always translate well to finishing well afterwards. The second thing the Warriors learned is, one area where they could nullify Wambanyama is by playing with force. In this play here, Wiggins drove directly at his body, and as y'all can see, he was able to move him out of the way for the easy lay-in. This was really on display by Kenneth Lofton Jr. as well, during the U19 gold medal match between USA and France back in 2021. The scary fact about this though is, what will they, or the NBA in general do, once Wambanyama reaches his prime and packs on more weight and muscle? At this point though, it's clear, just like how Steph has changed the game forever, Wemby looks to be on course to do the same thing. Then, uh, just like how Trey Young and Luka Doncic once worked out with Steph, I wonder if Wambanyama is going to train under the chef. Now, if that happens, then sheesh, all I can say is it's a great time to be an NBA fan.